Okay, so what do I feel right now? Well, first of all, I have to say that I am wearing yet another masterpiece by Mark Bumgarner and you know, Mark is really one of the most skilled designers here in the Philippines, but not just here, but around the world. I mean, take this for example, this gown was made in around eight, nine hours, and that's how skilled he is. I don't know if you remember my gala gown, the black one with Terno, that was also made in nine hours. So imagine when you give him one week, two weeks, and just a lot. So I just have to say thank you to uh, Mark and his team for, you know, always taking care of me and making sure that you know, I close off this chapter of my life in the most stunning way possible. Just being on stage right now in the preliminaries, arguably this part of the competition is one of the most important because not only is it scored, but it's really the first time that the girls are going to be in front of the judges. So I understand the pressure, I understand the anxiety, I, un I just understand how big of a deal this aspect of the competition is. You ask me who I think is going to win, and I'll say like, I really don't know. And I have to just say kudos to everyone. But now, I think it's like three more days before the coronation night, before the big night. It is the closing of a one year reign, but to get to that point, this point in my career rather, it, it took a lot of dedication, a lot of passion, a lot of hard work. And of course, my whole pageant journey was around seven, eight years in, in accumulation. So this is definitely a big deal for me. I don't know if you saw it, but I kind of chuckled on stage when I was announcing the, the finals night because up until now, I just, I just don't know what to feel because I am excited to crown the next girl, but also I am very nostalgic about the whole journey. I feel like I have a whole book of people that I have to thank because although I'll be the only one standing up on that stage, you know, it really took a village to make a journey this strong. But also to just keep in mind that your journey is not defined by winning the crown. It's what you do with that platform that you want to create. So I will see all of you, all of you in Coronation Night. We have to run back on stage. Let's go. Not really will end, but will open a new, a new chapter. 2019. Yeah, but this is not the stage. Uh, it's a different arena. <laughs> it's a different arena, a different <laughs> universe. Yes, yes. So this is the universe. Two years ago, we were here. This is the real singer. Oh my gosh. This is, I think, the real singer. If not, at least, I feel the vibe uh, before the show. Pero ito talaga. <laughs> Actually, while watching the rehearsals kanina, may mga parts na hindi ako tumitingin because I still wanna be surprised sa coronation. So may mga kaya may hat. How are you feeling? I'm doing great. I'm excited. Pero You're born ready. I'm born ready. We're both sleepless. <laughs> We're both ready. <laughs> it's so surreal to be on the stage for the third time in a row. And this time as a reigning queen. Correct. Same like, arena, same online. Yes. Especially after competing for two years. Yeah. Wow. Let's go, let's go. I have to finish my speech. Let's go. Let's finish the speech. How do you feel, Josh? Parang it feels like last year. <laughs> Yung narag. This is more. more Baka pangit pala yung mata ko. My gosh. Hindi pa ata siya done. Hindi ko alam. Yeah. Now we are rehearsing. 
my final walk. This is it. This is it, Pansit. When you feel the lights on, do ka gumanon. Pag ganun mo, lalabas yung voice mo. Um, when I go like that, Boy, then is you're... it the spotlight or what? We spotlight Top and spot. I feel, I feel like I'm in the best position to actually enjoy the night. Yeah. Because I, I was just thinking, I was saying, Kanina, I know exactly how these girls feel. Mm -hmm. Especially because I had to go through it twice. Yeah. Okay, uh, and the first time, I know I fucked up. So I know the feeling of fucking up backstage. Mm -hmm. And then, I also know the feeling of, if it's your time, you'll feel it. Eh? You'll feel the... Divine intervention na sayo na to, sayo na to, sayo na to. Alam mo ba, chika ko lang, I'm the first Miss Universe Philippines na pinayagan nilang iuwi ang corona. So, syempre, I've lived with this crown for a year. Kaya mahirap talaga siyang bitawan. Ayoko na sana siyang bitawan. Pero it's that moment in your reign where you just have to... Ano na? Kaya ka na nga mo po sa ating crown. Okay. Or it's just tight. It's it's already sewn. Yeah, okay. it's already sewn. How I am right now is me 2022. At hindi ako nanalo kasi ngarap ako. At yun yung 2023 kalma dalang ako prepared na lahat. Okay na Q and A na lang ako. Q and A. Rampa, oh my god, pangarap siya ng lahat ng bagay. Not just Rampa, girl, you're announcing yourself. I know, as Miss Philippines. Marina Summers? The Philippines! Filipina! It's gonna be iconic. It will be. I'm so excited and we're so proud of you for your entire reign. And the whole universe is proud of you. The whole world is... The universe is ready for summertime. Oh, thank you. Pwedeng pwede na tayong sumali sa ano. Miss Universe All-Stars. Oh, different. Ngayon, parang culmination na lang siya ng dalawang years na yun. And later after. Pero siyempre, ano pa rin, let's end it with ngarag pa rin. Kailangan may konting adrenaline. Konting ano, excitement. If it's relaxed. If it was easy, it's not worth it. Tonight, at Howard Filipinas, for all over the world, come together on one stage in the hopes of winning the Miss Universe Philippines Pound. Filipinas, it's universe time. This is the first time in the history of Miss Universe that sold out. Wow! It's okay. It's a beautiful gown by Mark Bongorn. So I really have to say thank you, Ryuji Shimitsu, Mark Bongorn. You guys are amazing. Amazing. Gabby Garcia, everyone, meet our Hi, uh, hi I'm Michelle, the MM Filipina. Go! <laughs> With feelings, dapat. Come on, Gabby. Filipina! Yeah. 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 Yeah.
hopefully the next queen is able to really recognize the platform for what it is and to continue to believe in their reason because uh, I guess what I'm trying to say is when you come home and you don't and you don't bring home the crown that's what you have to divert to it's really an emotional I mean I don't know if you guys noticed but I did chuckle last night when I was announcing the the schedule for Miss Universe because although I am very excited for the next queen I actually don't know who's gonna win it's such a hard year but what I can say is you know it's more than just the conclusion of a one-year reign but a re closing chapter for a seven-year pageant journey so to everybody that helped me our miss universe philippines 2024 the crown will always be a symbol of triumph but win or lose it's the lives that you touch that will really make a difference. This is the country we are proud to call our home, and we will always be proud to call ourselves Pinoy. Maraming maraming salam. Filipinas, I am, for the last time, Michelle Marquez D. signing off.